how have you found the faculty to be? And, and um, I mean, it's a small community, as you mentioned. So how, how receptive have you, have you found them to be to sit down and, and, and have you found like a personalized, I'm leading you obviously with this question, but how, how have you found them to be essentially, is, is it easy to get in contact with them? And no pressure as the campus dean is sitting next to you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love popping in during my lunchtime, especially because just I have an hour and I know that's when they are kind of on their break to eat, but I like to bother them regardless. <laughs> um, Dr. Derricott and Dr. Coleman are anatomy instructors, and I'm just, I'm here for the anatomy. Okay, you guys, I don't know, I get excited about it. I like it. And I'm always in there just talking about um, what we're learning, what we're going over. And um, my background, I was actually TA at my previous graduate program. So anatomy was one of the courses that I co-taught with the professors. And um, so I like to just uh, provide my feedback or maybe some suggestions or ideas. And um, I've never felt this missed here. I've never felt like, oh, I'm a student and that's where my, I need to stay. Um, they're very much um, send me links, send me slides, send me anything and we can sit down and we can talk about it because we are such a new medical school. So with students coming forth with ideas, um, we're growing Wasm together and that's really important to me. So I'm always in someone's office and I'm sure they would like to eat instead of see me all the time, <laughs> but um, here we are. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's a similar thing for me. So uh, I've, I think most of the faculty already know my name, but I don't know if that's a good thing yeah. or a bad thing, um, but um, I try to get follow up. Uh, so uh, similar to arena, like my background's biochemistry, molecular biology, uh, with a focus in genetics. So we've been covering a lot of that. So like uh, sitting in with Dr. Daya, uh, Dr. Marikan, or Marakin, I, I pronounce it, uh, Dr. Marak Marikan, uh, just some of the sessions, just even giving feedback um, and discussing some of the stuff to deep lengths has really been uh, enjoyable. And then for me, who is a work in progress as it relates to organization, uh, I'm seeing Dr. Zellner, who's uh, assisting with CAS and just helping like how to study, how do you uh, incorporate practice questions, uh, some of the uh, different other study techniques, um, some of our clinical uh, professors here as well. I know for me, I'm not as much of a video-based person in terms of some of the learning styles. And so I've had faculty just like, hey, I heard that you looking for something like that. Here's a book that might be helpful. Here's resources. Like I even get emails from folks like Dr. Elchi, who's uh, helping with some of the biostatistics for us as well. Just different things that are helping to enrich that experience. And I think that open door policy or um, knock and then open the door policy that some of them have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it has been really helpful. So I really appreciate the one-on-one -on -one interactions that you're able to have. And it is such a small knitted group. You're able to ask your questions during the lecture. Um, you're in, uh, actively involved in uh, discussions amongst groups and your peers as well. So you just get a lot of reinforcement with a lot of the content. 